Hi friends, do you see that giant snake in the picture? That kind of snake is called a boa constrictor. And today's story is all about him. Let's see what kind of mischief he gets into. Let's get started. The day Jimmy's boa ate the wash. The day Jimmy's boa ate the wash. The day Jimmy's boa ate the wash by Trinka Hakes Noble, pictures by Stephen Kellogg. How was your class trip to the farm? Oh, boring, kind of dull, until the cow started crying. A cow crying? Yeah, you see, a haystack fell on her. But a haystack doesn't just fall over. It does if a farmer crashes into it with his tractor. Oh, come on, a farmer wouldn't do that. He would if he were too busy yelling at the pigs to get off our school bus. What were the pigs doing on the bus? Eating our lunches. Why were they eating your lunches? because we threw their corn at each other and they didn't have anything else to eat. Well, that makes sense, but why were you throwing corn? Because we ran out of eggs. Out of eggs? Why were you throwing eggs? Because of the boa constrictor. The boa constrictor? Yeah, Jimmy's pet boa constrictor. What was Jimmy's pet boa constrictor doing on the farm? Oh, he brought it to meet all the farm animals, but the chickens didn't like it. You mean he took it into the hen house? Yeah, and the chickens started squawking and flying around. Go on, go on, what happened? Well, one hen got excited and laid an egg and it landed on Jenny's head. The hen? No, the egg. And it broke, yucky, all over her hair. What did she do? She got mad because she thought Tommy threw it, so she threw one at him. What did Tommy do? Oh, he ducked and the egg hit Mary Ann in the face. So she threw one at Jenny but she missed and hit Jimmy, who dropped his boa constrictor. Oh, and I know, the next thing you knew, everyone was throwing eggs, right? Right. And when you ran out of eggs, you threw the pig's corn, right? Right again. Well, what finally stopped it? Well, we heard the farmer's wife screaming. Why was she screaming? We never found out because Mrs. Stanley made us get on the bus and we sort of left in a hurry without the boa constrictor. I bet Jimmy was sad because he left his pet boa constrictor. Oh, not really. We left in such a hurry that one of the pigs didn't get off the bus. So now he's got a pet pig. Boy, that sure sounds like an exciting trip. Yeah, I suppose if you're the kind of kid who likes class trips to the farm. Hey friends, I really hope that you liked this story. I thought it was pretty funny that the pig rides in the derby car with the kids at the end of the book. And how here in this picture, we've got the farmer's wife, it looks like knitting a sweater maybe for the boa constrictor. If you liked today's story and would like to see others, please visit my channel at the Teachers Read Aloud. Please remember to like and subscribe. And please drop me a comment of a book that you'd like to see. Thanks so much. See you next time.